The following question is related to combustion analysis and it deals with the combustion of a pure hydrocarbon and it's used in bottle gas for cooking and heating. So 10 cm cube of the hydrocarbon is burned in 70 cm cube of oxygen in, in excess, which means that not all the oxygen is reacting. So you're burning 10 cm cube of hydrocarbon that is completely reacting, but you have 70 cm cube of oxygen, which is in excess. So, so the oxygen is excess, so that is not completely reacting. And the final gaseous mixture contains, so the final products contain 30 cm cube of carbon dioxide, and there is still 20 cm cube of unreacted oxygen. Now all gaseous volumes were measured under identical conditions. What that means is, we need to figure out the formula of the hydrocarbon. Now there are two ways of uh, solving this question. Remember for uh, gases, mole ratio and volume ratio is exactly the same. So you can construct equations for each uh, one of the uh, options and see on which option does this information fit correctly. Now the second way is uh, you need to know this equation of an unknown hydrocarbon, which is that if you have an unknown hydrocarbon, which is going to be CX, HY, X and Y are unknown quantities. You don't know how many carbons they are. You don't know how many hydrogens they are. So you're going to react it with oxygen, which is going to be O2. And if there's a complete reaction, which is happening in the above case because oxygen is in excess. So if there's a complete reaction, combustion reaction, two products would be produced. One would be carbon dioxide and the other one would be a water molecule. And you would need to balance this equation in terms of X and Y. So if you if you try to balance this, there are, there are X carbons over here. So there should be X carbon dioxide molecules on the other side. Similarly, if you have uh, Y hydrogens, now think of Y as a number. If you had eight hydrogens over here, there would be four water molecules over here. If you had uh, 20 hydrogens over here, to balance the hydrogens, there would be 10 water molecules over here. So the amount of water molecules is half this number. So there would be Y by two water molecules on the right hand side to balance out the hydrogens. Uh, you can try it with a real number. So four hydrogens, if there was H4, so four hydrogens, there would be two water molecules. So whatever the number, the number of water molecules are going to be half of that. And then the final part comes and you have to balance oxygen. So the total amount of oxygen, uh, O2 molecules over here, that's X. So you've got X O2 molecules over here in your products. And over here you have Y by two oxygen atoms. Now remember, to make one O2 molecule, you need two oxygen atoms. So O2 would be half the amount of oxygens you have. So in terms of O2, this would be equal to Y by four O2 molecules. Because if you had, uh, think of Y by two as a number, if you had eight water molecules, the amount of oxygen in that would be equal to four O2 molecules. So whatever the amount of oxygen over here, uh, uh, the amount, uh, whatever the amount of uh, water molecules, the amount of O2 would be half of that. So Y by two water molecules, the amount of O2 e equal to the amount of oxygen in water, that would be Y by four. So over here on the, on the left hand side to balance the amount of oxygen, this should be X plus Y divided by four. So one thing that you can do is you need to, let's remove all that. One thing that you need to remember is you need to remember this balanced equation in terms of X and Y. If you remember this, most combustion analysis questions would become very, very easy. Um, and the second part is gases, uh, the amount of uh, the mole ratio and volume ratio of gases is exactly going to be the same. So we're going to try and solve this. So you had a 10 cm cube unknown hydrocarbon, which was reacting with 70 cm cube in excess, which means not all of it is reacting and he already gave you uh, information about that the 20 cm cube of uh, unreacted oxygen was still present which means that if 20 cm cube is left unused the amount of oxygen that was actually reacting was 50 cm cube that was taking part in the reaction and the final stage is that 30 cm cube of uh, co2 is being produced now according to the volume ratio 10 cm cube is reacting with 50 cm cube and it's producing 30 cm cube of this should be cm cube so it's producing 30 cm cube of co2 so according to uh, the volume ratio the mole ratio is also going to be exactly the same so if you have if you have one mole of this hydrocarbon then according to this ratio 50 it's reacting with 50 cm that means 
this term over here would be 5, you need 5 moles of O2 and it's going to produce 3 moles of CO2 which means that the value of x is basically equal to 3 and the value of x plus y by 4 is equal to 5 so that's equal to 5 and we've already figured out what the value of x is so we can substitute it over there so it's going to be 3 plus y by 4 which would be equal to 5 getting 3 on the other side that would become 2 and y would be equal to 8 then so x is 3 and y is 8 so which means that the final formula of the hydrocarbon is going to be C3 and H would be 8 so option C would be correct so let me once more explain what happened over here is the 10 cm cube was reacting with the 50 cm cube oxygen and producing 30 cm cube of CO2 now remember for gases mole ratio and volume ratio is exactly going to be the same so it's it's so the mole ratio would be the simplest mole ratio would be that one hydrocarbon reacts with 5 and produces 3 CO2 which means that the value of x is 3 and the value of x plus y by 4 is 5 because one is re one only needs 5 O2 so this entire term should be equal to 5 so solving for x and y I got x was equal to 3 and y was, became equal to 8 which means that the final answer is going to be C3 H8 what you can also do is to confirm the answer C3 H8 you can construct an equation of combustion of C3 H8 so if we if we write down an equation for the combustion of C3 H8 it's going to produce CO2 and it would produce H2O now since they are three C's so there would be three CO2 molecules and since they are eight hydrogens so there would be four water molecules and the amount of oxygen that's six oxygens over here and there are four so that's ten so this should be five O2 molecules now you can see the ratio one mole is reacting with five moles and producing three moles so the volume ratio exactly fits 10 cm cube would react with 50 cm cube and produce 30 cm cube of CO2